In the previous video, I explained how to perform direct query to PostgreSQL database from ESP82 to 66 board. In this video, I'll be using the WT32 ETH01 board. Still using the DHT11 sensor as an example, we'll be sending temperature and humidity data to the database. Using the WT32 ETH01 board allows us to connect to an Ethernet network. This enables us to establish a connection to the database via Ethernet and perform record queries directly from the board. This connection will be more stable and faster compared to other methods. To display the recorded results from the database, I'm using Node-RED as the dashboard. These are the components I'm using. The WT32 ETH01 board is the IoT device, a DHT11 sensor to read temperature and humidity values, and a micro USB adapter to power the board. And of course, an Ethernet cable for network connectivity. Here's the table structure. It consists of a time field with a default value of now, followed by a temp field to record temperature, and a humidity field to record humidity values. Here's the Arduino code I'm using in this video. Make sure you've installed the necessary libraries, such as the one for connecting the WT32 ETH01 board, and simple PGSQL for database connectivity. Next, configure the IP address to match the address on your network, so the board can connect to the network correctly. The pinout of the DHT sensor is connected to pin number 2. Next, set up the IP address of the database, as well as the user, password, and target database name to be used for recording data. Setting the sensor reading interval. In this example, I've set it to 10 seconds, meaning every 10 seconds, the program will read the temperature and humidity values, and then perform a record query to the database. I've shared all the code used in this video. You can find the link in the video description. Next, here's the flow code for the Node-RED dashboard. For the PostgreSQL node, I'm using Node-RED Contrib Postgrester next, so make sure you've installed this node via the Manage Palette option. In this Node-RED flow, the Inject node will trigger every 5 seconds, initiating a query to fetch the latest data from the database. Subsequently, this data will be processed and displayed on a gauge to show the latest temperature and humidity values. In addition to displaying the latest data, I've also added a PostgreSQL node to query the last 30 data entries. Then, the payload will be created as an array using a function node to display them on a line chart and a table. With the line chart, we can visualize the historical data changes over time. Now, let's observe the board as it connects to the network and performs record queries of temperature and humidity readings to the database every 10 seconds. On the Node-RED dashboard, we'll see the latest temperature data, and humidity on the gauge along with the timestamp of the last record. In addition to the gauge, we can also view temperature and humidity data on the line chart and table, which will display the last 10 entries. In this video, we've explored how to connect the WT32 ETH01 board to a PostgreSQL database and record temperature and humidity data from a DHT11 sensor using direct query. By utilizing Node-RED, we've created a dashboard to visualize both the latest readings and historical data changes. Through this setup, we can monitor environmental conditions in real-time and analyze trends over time. With the combination of hardware and software integration, we've demonstrated a practical IoT application for data logging and visualization. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.